back again with a very very quick tutorial i already uh did one for setting up um this f absolutely free amazing vocoder plugin by tal t-a-l um in pro tools but since i do actually have reaper as well i i'll show you how to do that in reaper okay uh, I explained the, the sort of fundamentals of, of a vocoder and all that sort of stuff. So maybe watch that video first and then I'll just go through how to quickly set it up in uh, Reaper. Okay, we're going to have to uh, open two tracks again, uh, like my previous video. So one MIDI track and one audio track. So how to do that in Reaper, just add two tracks. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to push Command T twice. You've got two tracks, um, but we need to specify the type of tracks that they are going to be uh, in Reaper. So uh, how I do it is I record arm it. And then, uh, so I need my input to be my microphone. So that's my audio track, the first one. And then for my second track, I need my input to be a MIDI. So um, it's going to be my focus right Scarlet and all channels. Um, because I don't have anything else sent to my Scarlet. Uh, you may, if that, if your interface does not show up under the uh, the MIDI inputs, you may have to set that up. So go into Preferences, Reaper Preferences, and then go into MIDI Devices and make sure that it says Enabled under your interface. Um, to enable it, just right click. Uh, and then make sure that enable input is ticked and easy as that and then push apply and okay. So if I play on my keyboard, I am receiving MIDI data and if I arm my microphone, I am also receiving uh, audio data. So we need to put the uh, vocoder plugin on the audio track. So um, how you do that is you just click on that effects uh, button and I've already selected vocoder, the tail vocoder and add and that is now on the audio track. But we are not sending the MIDI information to the vocoder yet. So let's just close this. So in the MIDI uh, track, <coughs> So it's the second one, uh, just click on the route uh, button and you're going to have to set up a new send. So the send is just going to go to channel one. Uh, I think the vocoder defaults, defaults to channel one. So click on that and it will set up a new send. And now if I um, record um, both of these and play on my keyboard, Hello, hello, hello. Uh, there we have it. The vocoder setting it up in uh, Reaper. So I hope that helped anyone out there using Reaper. Reaper is an amazing DAW for how inexpensive it is. So anyone getting into audio uh, and recording and wants to sort of level up from a more basic DAWs like GarageBand and Audacity, that sort of thing. Uh, Reaper is definitely something you should look into. Anyway, uh, until next time.